Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make it so players are able to spawn inside your map and how to place in uh, something very key to making just about every single map. Props. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to, you see this little thing up here? It looks like a gray light bulb. It's right above the brush tool. You're going to go ahead and click that. Now, on default, it automatically selects the first thing we're going to do. But if it's if it isn't selected, go ahead and type in i info underscore survivor underscore position. And go ahead and select it. Now we're going to come in here and in the middle of the room in here if you have if you haven't made this room, uh go ahead and it's in my first tutorial, but go ahead and make this because we're going to be using this map for just about every single one of my tutorials. Anyways, go ahead and place in four, doesn't really matter where, just place four of them in your map. And you'll see they all look like Francis because I'm using the Left 4 Dead 1 uh, hammer. In the Left 4 Dead 2, all of the survivors will look like Coach. But, um, and I'm pretty sure most of my tutorials will work for the Left 4 Dead 2 hammer, but I'm not 100% sure, because I don't use that one very often. Anyways, so now we have uh, the basic things the game needs to spawn survivors. In info survivor position, all is something that is what the game uses to, f to uh, spawn or figure out where a survivor needs to be. Alright, so what we're going to do is, inside the camera down here, double click any one of them. And this little box will appear. It should have also, it should have class info, outputs, inputs, model, flags, visa group, or vis group, sorry. And in all these different things, you're going to be using for different uh, things, depending on what you want to do. But for now, we're only going to be worried about the class info. Now let's go over some of the basic stuff that you'll see in stuff. First off, you have name. Say I typed in survivor, you can have to enter, hit enter twice if you want to. You don't have to do this part, I'm just showing you. But what this would do is, say I have a logic um, entity, and we'll be learning about logics later on. They're more advanced. They they use calling on and calling on different uh, entities and doing stuff with them. But anyways, how an entity calls upon another entity for anything is they use its name. Now, if it's unnamed, you cannot select it. And if two things have the same name, then it'll select both of them for that. So if I have two of these names, Survivor, then it and something did something whenever the two whenever something named Survivor did this, it would do it for both of them, not just this one. All right, so go ahead and erase that. We don't need to worry about that. Pitch yaw roll. That's how. That's its rotation in the world. Parent. Um. Oh, and also in the help thing down here, it'll help if you a lot figure out what you need to do. Parent is basically, um, it ties it to something, so if that moves, it moves, and uh, sometimes vice versa. Uh, order, we're not going to worry about that. Survivor name. This is. There are also some info stuff that's unique to only that class. This is one of those, survivor name. What we're going to do in is... Each of these, we need to give each one a name, depending on the survivor you're using. And each one needs to be different, so that way it knows where to place it. For instance, okay. This one, let's go ahead and just type in Francis. Now, you don't have to double-click again. You could just click, and it'll automatically switch over. Click any one of the other ones. Type in Zoe. Another one. Lois. Remember to hit enter after each one. And the last one is Bill. Alright. So, now we have the four basic um, info survivor positions. Now we're going to put in one more thing. This one is called info underscore player underscore start. Uh, one second. Yeah, there we go. Now just go ahead click and it'll spawn. It'll look like a little green thing. You don't need to edit anything with it. That just lets the game put a player in its map. 
Alright, now you've learned how to make it so players can spawn, let's go ahead and put in a prop. Alright, now in the objects, type in prop underscore static. Spell right there. Um, click it. Then in the camera anywhere, click. You'll see, while it's selected, it'll be red, but when it's unselected, like now, it'll appear gray. Double click on it, and you'll see all this different stuff. We're just worried about what it says world model. Click browse. Now, there are, let's see, 2,406 different uh, props you can use in the game. There's huge amounts of them. But first, let's go over how you look at this thing. Over here, there's a whole bunch of different subcategories and everything, and some of them, like say this, has its own subcategories. Filter down here is how you can search for it, and if you have something in here selected, it'll search within there for it. Over here, you'll see it will change depending on what you have selected. Alright, now what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to where it says in as props uh, furniture here we go and go ahead and type in desk now there will be one thing that pops up it's props underscore furniture slash desk one dot mdl double click that click apply now you'll see it in the game now uh, as you can see trying to move it it'll move way up or way down so let's reduce the grid by pressing the right bracket so we get it's easier to move it around. There we go. Now you can increase it back to normal, or you can leave it like that so it's still easier. And now we have that. Go ahead and move it to wherever you want it, but let's rotate it so that we the it's facing the survivors when they spawn. How you do that is you double click it inside the grid and you see how the drawer looks like it's facing that way click and drag around it on these little on the little circles that appear you can go ahead and zoom in to try to make sure you get it uh, perfectly around or if you want to do it at an odd angle to make it look more realistic like say this if you wanted to make it look like that it's fine too alright so now you have spawned survivors and that now if you want to Actually, if you want to test your game, you can press. Sorry about that. Anyways, if you want to test it, go up here, press File, Run Map. Now you can normally press F9, but for uh, Camtasia, it, that pauses the recording. So I'm just gonna click it. Now this thing up here, make sure all these say Normal, and in the additional game parameters, make sure it says dot dash two console space dash dev space dash console plus sv underscore lan1 and then uncheck this if it's checked now press